people how are you doing welcome back to our channel before we continue if you haven't subscribed please please subscribe hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video you will be on the know you can also follow me on Instagram at Anjere Masi on Facebook as Masi Anjere today we are going to talk about dating life like my dating life but I have like two sections the wrong things I've done while in a while dating and the lessons I've, I've learned from my dating life so I've been in several relationships like four four relationships and in all the relationships the mistake I did in relationship two are the same mistakes I did in relationship three two and four and five and maybe if there is six and this this was all because I I hadn't discovered who I was I wasn't I was doing everything to please my partner and I was doing everything like to keep him mm -hmm. thing number one I did wrong that I know it is wrong to be in a relationship was I needed validation from my partner no validation no peace I don't know what was happening but I was still young and you get when you're getting into a relationship you are too much of expectations and if something goes wrong you're like why am I here is there love yeah so I need a validation if there's no validation I'm so mad like validation thing number two that I did wrong mm, jumping into conclusion I don't know I can't I, I don't want to say my mind was wired to jump into conclusion because I came, I sat down and realized it was wrong it was so wrong because you get I call I call him he doesn't pick up I don't want to know if he's busy or what I just I I, I just thought like he was all for me do anytime I call he should pick if he doesn't pick na jam na as in another talk of if you to haziko like i just start like thinking bad negative things about him thing number three i did wrong was stepping up in every issue stepping up i mean like when there is a problem you know my dad died in 2010 and since then i've been seeing my mom step up in issues that are manly yes because there was no man so she had to step up so in, in these relationships I've been stepping out up to things that I think I can solve problem solver yes and by doing that at some point the guys felt intimidated and at some point they felt like I know too much it wasn't for my it, it wasn't intentional Nivenye I have grown up with a single woman and I've seen her do things that men are supposed to do so i felt like i had the right to do things in that relationship that men are supposed to do that is not right thing number four that i did i did that was wrong was des desperate i was so desperate for love I was, I was i was so desperate for words of affirmation i was so desperate for attention yeah people love attention but my desperation was on another level so once you know who you are once you identify whatever you want in a relationship you'll choose right thing number five i did that was wrong i was so naive sometimes i look back at everything i did from relationships to last for like months or years and you say me happy anniversary to us happy six months anniversary happy three eight month anniversary na chekanga to yangu because maybe i was for numbers like kai to shed it one month wow shed it two months excellent one year perfect transaction of itenge so things i did for love nobody should do them like nobody should do them just identify the person you want to, sp to spend the rest of your life with and you will be good to go so before i continue with the things i have learned so far if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit the notification bell and be on the note each and every time i upload a video 
um the lessons i've learned so far one love yourself like no one is going to love you more than you love yourself like treasure yourself you are a treasure treasure yourself so i have learned to treasure myself i have learned to give myself quality time that quality time that i needed from my partner i have now learned like it's me to give it to myself that happiness i thought that he was my happiness it's me to give myself the happiness i need thing number two nothing you do for a man will make him stay <laughs> So many ladies think that keeping a man is all about having sex with him. As in, that is a very bad mentality. Sorry to say, but that's how it is. Like, if a man wants to go, he will go. It doesn't matter if you will have sex from morning, from asubui, sasaba, jioni. Kama mtu ni wakuenda, ni wakuenda. So, as ladies, we should like look for something else to offer in a relationship other than sex. Sex is not the ultimate goal of keeping a relationship. That's something I have learned. The number three thing I have learned it is let God be the center of your relationship. If you let God be the center, mutashonesha vitenge, muende introduction, mfanya adi wedding, muende honeymoon, namurudi mwishi kwa mani. But if you are doing it the other way around, like even you are not consulting God, yeah, we should learn to consult God in each and every in each and every plan we have, be it relationship, be it marriage, be it having kids, everything. So if you put God at the center of it all, everything will go as planned. Yes, kutakuwa na obstacle, but you people will always find a way to make things work for you. Lesson number four. Peer pressure shouldn't like make you run for a relationship. Akuna trophy for those people who are dating or not dating. There's no like trophy number one, how many people you have dated, how many body counts have you had, no trophy. So if my friends are dating, all of them, like five of them, and I'm not dating, then there's that phrase, kwanwe katiwangi. If you haven't identified who you are, if you haven't identified yourself, you'll go to a point of finding a man, anyone for that matter, and start dating so that you can prove a point to your friends. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that shouldn't be the case. If your friends are dating, let your time come. You will date. They shouldn't put pressure on your head for you to date because you're not the one who will stay with, they're not the people who will stay with, with the man, but you will stay with the man. So don't give any ear to peer pressure. Say no to societal pressure. Say no to social media pressure. Say no to peer pressure. Lesson number five. Be you and never apologize. A man, alikupata ukipaka makeup. A man, alikupata as in you are doing things for yourself that make you happy. But he is the man who tells you, I don't love makeup. And mukitembea kwa barabara, anapenda of course watu wakona makeup, he's like, wow, she looks really beautiful kwa hiyo makeup. Na wewe, keep in mind, alikuambia hapendi makeup. So, if you went ahead and changed your makeup game because he said he doesn't love makeup, you are doing the wrong thing. Let no man change you. Kama makeup is your thing, do it. If putting on trousers is your thing, do it. If reading or writing is your thing, do it. Let no man tell you I don't like the way you you do things. If I get a man, he should know that being on camera is my thing. Me, I, then I just take crazy videos. He shouldn't like, I, I don't like the way you take videos killer time. Nini, nini. That's trying to change me and taking videos makes me happy. So I'm just trying to be me and not apologizing to anyone, not even him. Lesson number six, which is the last one. Don't throw your principles and standards to the window just to fit in. If you had said you're practicing sexual purity and you get a man who is like, no, sexual purity is old age, sexual purity is old fashion, let's just do this thing. And then you give in, that's 
that's one of the way of throwing your principal through the window for you to fit in because the man is not of the same idea like you are. Guard your principles, guard your standards, stick to them. Don't lower them down. Instead, take them a bit higher. Someone who is meant for you will come running to you. Si lazima uji lower your standards pala chini. It's not, it's not good. That said and done, those are the things, some of the things I did wrong, the five things I did wrong, and the six things I have learned in my dating life. Before tena niende, subscribe me too if you haven't subscribed. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Anjere Masi, on Facebook, Masi Anjere. Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you so much for subscribing, for sharing, for liking my previous videos. Stay blessed. Till next time, bye!